I think it's about day nine. Uh, I've only got four little ones for about four grams. No, three and a half grams in the last, well, since the other afternoon when I got that three grammer. But listen to this. I'm taping this one. That started out the faintest little noise. That still sounds pretty deep and that's got a nice pull on it now. So this could be a good nugget. Okay, let's have another listen. Oh. Okay. I'll dig for another 10 minutes. Five or ten. I'm running out of memory card. Uh, I may have to switch you off again yet yeah, and come back. But that sounds like I've got a big older dig here. That's a got that's got a lot of pull that nugget. Because it still sounds quite deep. You know, another six to eight inches at least. It's going to be a nice one, but I think I've got uh, 75, 75 grams in eight days. This is definitely the hardest ground I've ever dug with a blunt pick. That's very foolish coming away with this one pick. Oh, I'm going to be doing it tough unless I go and buy another one. Mind you, any pick's going to be blunt in no time. You dig in here. I need a way of sharpening it. And I haven't bought my forge. Because I usually just use that for sapphires where you go through about a pick a day. Because you really want sharp picks. This hole's going to have to get a lot bigger than this. So, a couple more minutes, I'm turning the camera off. And uh, I'll have one more listen to it first. And then I'll make this hole a lot bigger. And See you again in half an hour or so. I'll probably need a rest. This sounds like a beauty, this one. But this next 
this next listen will tell us all. We may be going deep into the rock today. Okay, it's close. It's probably only down another two inches. I got the Big pieces of quartz coming out now. Okay, that's a bit of cow creek, so we're on the bottom here now. Right in the middle that way. Right there, eh? We've got ourselves a good dig here. Doesn't sound that far away, but it sounds quite large so I will turn the video back on later but for now I'm down that deep I'm hitting into the solid stone that's down about a foot look there's a foot in there yeah. it's uh, coming out of the solid stone by the sounds of it so I'll make that hole two or three times bigger and get to the bottom of it so to speak all right, bye for now. Oh, I don't think we're too far away now. I've made the whole fair bit bigger. So I can, I've got a floor. I know it's in the floor. And I've just found a little pocket of wash in there. So I wouldn't be surprised if I popped this out. So I might leave the video on for a bit longer just in case. Because a lot of the time I've got the video off and then I have a look and there it is in the bottom of the hole. Not that you can really see what's going on there. She's a screamer. Oh. 
Oh, I'm so close now. I don't want to hit it. It's so tempting to take the shortcut and go straight for it. But you'll damage it. No matter how hard it is to dig, you've got to dig around it. So, I'll be back in a minute. There it is. That's nice. I said 10 grammar. That'll easily go 10. <laughs> Here's our target. That's another beautiful nugget for the collection. That'll look nice cleaned up. Doesn't look as though I've hit it at all. I didn't have to dig too far into the rock to get it. So that's a beauty. I'd say at least 10, maybe bigger. There you go. Worth videoing. And that's how deep I ended up. Down about 14 inches. Oh yeah, well I'm going to have something to eat and give this a bit of a clean up and have a look. And take some more samples for panning while I'm in here. Yeah. Next time I do this, bigger hammer, bigger chisel. <laughs> 